our work in data, natural disaster kills 45,000 deaths per year on average, and around 6,800 natural disasters happen worldwide annually. Based on Nature Disaster Journal, natural disasters are inevitable as in nature, intended, and it is the result of human activities. It is also shown that humanity has not yet adapted to natural disaster, and most of the devastating aftermaths happen due to unpreparedness to face this disaster. So the objective for this project, first to facilitate the work of scientists in observing nature. Secondly, to work as a liaison indicator device for natural disaster. Third, to help prevent the chain effect of natural disaster from the world. Fourth, to prevent catastrophic natural disaster from happening in the future. And finally, to help the nation in fulfilling their sustainable development goal, SDG number 14 life below water and number 15 life on land. Lastly, our biggest aim for this project is to be commercialized all around 173 countries that are honorable to become the victim of natural disaster. Moving to methodology details, we managed to create a working prototype for nature monitoring device. First, the methodology for NMD has been classified into three phases, which is data collecting, data processing, and data transfer. First, the data collecting phase of NMD consists of sensors that are thermometer, water level sensor, and a soil moisture sensor. This sensor will collect the environment's data, and later it will be processed by the microbit. Next, during the data processing phase, the microbit a user-friendly single-board computer will act as the processor of NMD. Furthermore, for the data transfer phase, we use the Internet of Things technology, which means the data collected and processed will later be uploaded to the ThingsPeak IoT server using the IoT bit. And the data will also be shown on the mini OLED display during the data transfer phase. The IoT bit is an attachment for the micro bit to allow it to access the internet or in other words it is a wi-fi adapter for the micro bit it works by setting up the wi-fi ssid and a wi-fi password inside the programming meanwhile for it to connect to the server we have to set up an api key inside the programming an api key is application programming interface key that allows the micro bit to access the private server plus the mini oled display will also serve multiple functions First, during installation, it will notify us if there is any error occurred during installation. And secondly, it will notify us about the device's connection to the ThingsPay IoT server. Next, we are multiple trials to test the prototype. In the end, the prototype worked excellently. So, the first test that we ran is NMD connection to the ThingsPay server. As you can see, on the upper left picture, the device connection touched it. And the bottom left, the connection has failed. Why does the connection fail you ask? We properly set up the wrong API key inside the NMD programming so that we will notify the user that it is not connected and it actually does. Next, the feature on the upper right is the test that we ran to examine the thermometer by using a hair dryer. And the last one on the bottom right is the test that we did to examine the soil moisture sensor and the water level sensor. The design of the actual product is as shown. Let's take a look on the five perspective first. This is where the micro bit and the IOI bit will be stored. That is a screen for the mini LED display that can be used by the user. Here, we can also see the soil moisture sensor is exposed at the bottom of the product. Now, let's take a look on the bottom perspective. The water level sensor will be mounted on the top of the right tube inside. The right tube bottom is also exposed to allow room for the sensor to detect any water level rise. As you can see, this is the ThingsPeak server side. And from the trial that we ran, we can see that the sensor are working and the data are sent to the server each and every second from this. We can see that the device is working excellently. Continuing with our discussion, here are the budgets for nature monitoring device. As you can see on the left, that is the budget for the prototype. Meanwhile, on the right, that is the budget for the actual product. The difference between the prototype and the actual product would be the body material. For the prototype, we use plastic bottle for the body. However, we are in need of a stronger material for the body of the actual product. So, we have chosen to use polyvinyl chloride or in other words, PVC pipe, which is more durable and long-lasting with the expectancy of lifespan over 30 years on extreme condition as it doesn't corrode, unlike plastic and metals. 
Lastly, the marketing potential will be for scientists, crisis management agencies, government, forest reserve agencies and can also be bought for domestic use. So, in conclusion, when the nature monitoring device is used throughout Malaysia, we believe that this device can be very beneficial to people, not only to scientists and authorities, but also civilians. This device can also help communities to adapt and be prepared to face natural disaster. This device is also sophisticated and efficient as it also applies the Internet of Things technology in observing nature. Plus, the nature working device can also break the chain effect of natural disaster and prevent the destruction of the ecosystem. In the end, we believe that this product is the key to solve our unreadiness in facing natural disaster in the future.